when I was about, um, I don't know, I forget what age it was, but the, the old rock thing was over and uh, New Wave was, was kind of in and dance rock was in. And uh, it looked like, you know, there wasn't going to be that much. I mean, metal was in, but the old, an old school kind of hippie kind of stooges vibe was not in music at all and that's what i really really liked as a kid and all of a sudden there was this band that came out of the punk rock scene in australia called the scientists and they did this song called solid gold hell which the way they did it sounded like the stooges the sisters of mercy and it was kind of gothy and i heard it and i was like wow that's number one one of the coolest titles i've ever heard in my life I mean, solid gold hell and I knew I always wanted to do it if I ever got a chance to do it. And uh, so I did. I'm in a bed with many ladies. I killed many a man before my 16th year was done. But they don't write them like that anymore. Uh, those vocals, the way that guy sings. Uh, I tried to do that guy justice on the song. But the um, early 70s, late 60s, kind of overdone you know it's like a mid tenor vocal then guys don't sing that way you know and uh it's almost like they're like in some sort of freak rock broadway show um and it's got everything in a song that i like it's got kind of a surfy part it's got drama it's got a, a long part in the center which is just like a riff enough time for guitar players to riff and I figured there was nothing else in there, so I figured put, I put some vocals on there to, to and try to build it up. And I just wanted to make it as, as intense as possible and uh, as trippy as possible without all kinds of echo. So it's fun to sing. Mr. Destroyer. How can you not love a song called Mr. Destroyer? You know, I mean, again, everything about this record that we just did brings me back to when I was 14 years old. And uh, song titles like Mr. Destroyer, you don't, you know, you don't deny stuff like that when you're 14. Like, Mr. Destroyer, uh, what could it be? Well, I listened to the song and I talked to the guy who wrote it. Nobody I know knows what that song is about except it's so freaking cool it's got one of the best riffs ever it's like a lost black sabbath or zeppelin song um i had to i had to do it and just scream mr destroyer is coming what else do you want from rock music uh so we went in there and did it i insisted on doing it and i was so glad i did because it's like now it's just one of my favorite songs to sing ever of any song when the wolf sits is uh by a british band named jerusalem and the only thing i know about them is that they were produced by ian gillen the, sing the then singer of deep purple um i guess he brought him in and gave him like a demo uh you know, did a demo track and the demo track sounds like it's recorded on a wax paper but the song is it's just a uh, but the song is really really cool really really cool it's got a big old corny old-fashioned chorus and uh again i don't know what the hell they're singing about he's talking about something's on his pillow and that's the time of night for the wolf to howl and somehow he's guilty about something and uh and then there's a big giant guitar solo and i'm like that's what I want. And it's nice and long. Before we slip into another 